Good morning, everybody. Welcome to today's devotion for July 13th. Today's devotion is titled Personal Responsibility, and the Bible reading is from Zephaniah chapter 3, verses 1 to 8. Woe to the city of oppressors, rebellious and defiled. She obeys no one. She accepts no correction. She does not trust in the Lord. She does not draw near to her God. Her officials within her are roaring lions. Her rulers are evening wolves who leave nothing for the morning. Her prophets are unprincipled. They are treacherous people. Her priests profane, profane the sanctuary and do violence to the law. The Lord within her is righteous. He does no wrong. Morning by morning he dispenses his justice. And every new day he does not fail, yet the unrighteous know no shame. I have destroyed nations, their strongholds are demolished. I have left their streets deserted with no one passing through. Their cities are laid waste, they are deserted and empty. O oh, Jerusalem, I thought, surely you will fear me and accept correction. Then her place of refuge would not be destroyed, nor all my punishments come upon her. But they were still eager to act corruptly in all they did. Therefore, wait for me, declares the Lord, for the day I will stand up to testify. I have decided to assemble the nations, to gather the kingdoms, and to pour out my wrath on them. All my fierce anger. The whole world will be consumed by the fire of my jealous anger. My friend's eyes revealed what I was feeling, fear. We two teens had behaved poorly and were now cowering before the camp director. The man, who knew our dads well, shared lovingly but pointedly that our fathers would be greatly disappointed. We wanted to crawl under the table, feeling the weight of personal responsibility for our offense. God gave Zephaniah a message for the people of Judah that contained potent words about personal responsibility for sin. After describing the judgments he would bring against Judah's foes, he turned his eyes on his guilty, squirming people. What sorrow awaits rebellious, polluted Jerusalem, God proclaimed. They are still eager to act corruptly. He'd seen the cold hearts of his people their spiritual apathy, social injustice, and ugly greed, and he was bringing loving discipline. And it didn't matter if the individuals were leaders, judges, prophets. Everyone was guilty before him. The Apostle Paul wrote the following to believers in Jesus who persisted in sin. You are storing up terrible punishment for yourself. God will judge everyone according to what they have done. So in Jesus' power, let's live in a way that honors our holy, loving Father and leads to no remorse. Why should you take personal responsibility for your sin? How do your wrong choices bring shame to God? Thank you for joining me for today's devotion, and I hope you all have a wonderful day.